Welcome back and thank you very much indeed. The Daily Guide this morning reports Kumasi kidnappers had bomb and man attempts suicide in parliament. Nana beckons African diasporans. The Finder newspaper Blood, uh, 111,000 units shot for, representing 397 uh, of uh, national demand in 2018. Ghana is the safest country in West Africa, according to the President of the Republic. Customers give GN savings two weeks ultimatum uh, to pay their locked up funds. And Tibet is a master key for Ghana's uh, greatness, that minister. The Daily Graphic says rescued Canadian women arrive back home. A man scares parliament, threatens to kill himself in the chamber, and ministry triggers interventions to contain fall army worm. Fathers must lead by example, Uncle Ebo White. And the Mirror Graphic Business Hold Father's Day Buffet at the Oak Plaza Hotel. We just spoke about it. The, uh, the Ghanaian Times, Ghana is safest country in West Africa. President Akufado declares fuel stations hot. GSA busts them for cheating customers. And Great Accra Regional House of Chiefs honors Gang Manche claimants not to celebrate Homo War. Man 35 arrested for attempted suicide in Parliament. And the health alerts the Ghana Health Service's warning of cholera outbreak in the Great Accra region. My guest this morning, Eric Chum is a member of the MPP's communication team. And now the Honorable Alassane Suhini is the MP for Tamale North. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. Happy Father's Day to you in advance. Thank, Thank you. Are, are, you, you, are you expecting morning. a package? Thank you. Are you expecting a package? <laughs> well, hopefully. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> Eric says hopefully. I am not. You are not expecting a if package. If I get, I'll be happy. Uh, okay. But I'm not expecting. You are it. used See, to not if getting you not, it. You are not expecting anything. Okay. You don't get disappointed when okay. you don't have any. Mm. Mm. Uh, think coming your way. I'm not. I mean, have fathers been celebrated just don't be, well don't enough? Be, don't be surprised if you okay. are even asked to uh, offer Father's Day gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my Father's Day gifts? They can confront you. You are celebrating a thing, <laughs> yeah, but you have been asked to, to drop a gift. Yeah. But do we think fathers have been celebrated, you know, really as much as they should in this country? I, well, anyway, to start a good morning to. Uh, all the viewers, mm. uh, to yourself, and then to the honorable friend here. Mm. Um, and then, of course, uh, good morning to all the fathers out there. Okay. And then would be fathers. Mm -hmm. um, I feel that, yes, there's always a conversation around how we look at uh, fathers and even father figures mm. in our lives. Mm. Uh, and, you know, I think that is also a, a bit of um, either a subculture or a cultural orientation where fathers, <clears throat> for one reason or the other, are not the most, um, if you like, connected mm. or switched on uh, when it comes to the family mm. uh, by dint of uh, traditionally they'll be out all the time mm. trying to uh, bring in the, the bacon, as they would say. Uh, or the bread, and then of course the the mothers would almost traditionally be the ones who would spend a lot more time mm -hmm. with the with the children and the family and all of those things. So, but it's changed. I think that over the period, I mean, if you look at where we've come from, it's changed a lot. Do we have to celebrate fathers? Of course, yes. I mean, in a family unit. Uh, the role that the father plays is extremely important. It's, mm -hmm. it's integral to how that family actually progresses. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we would sort of try and discount that role. Uh, so whilst it's imperative that fathers are celebrated mm -hmm. and the importance that they bring in terms of the role that they play is also acknowledged. Mm -hmm. I think for us as fathers as well, or people who are father figures, mm -hmm should also be up to the task and be responsible. Okay. Of course, if you are a father, you would also be uh, open to mm. some criticism in terms of how you play your role. And then also, uh, most people do not even have a certain appreciation of the sort of uh, turmoil or stress and the kind of thing that you would have to do as a dad, for instance, to be able to keep the family together. So. It's also not really appreciated, and mm. sometimes I think that's where uh, most fathers would mm. complain that it looks as if that uh, I've been left alone. Be, yes, <laughs> but I mean it's 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 one of those things. I think it's changed. Okay. I think it's also more to do with how you 
relate and interact with your children or even the entire family. And then once the kids uh, become a bit more uh, mature than they, as they grow, that relationship would exist. We grew up in an environment where uh, you were essentially scared of your dad yeah. or that connection wasn't there. Mm -hmm. But I always say that I appreciated my father more when I also became a dad myself. Okay. You understand? And then you realize that, well, this dude has been <laughs> going through a lot because I always had this feeling that my dad was a bit aloof okay. or detached. Mm -hmm. But becoming a father myself, I realized that there's a whole lot of things that you go through mm -hmm. And you, you, there's no excuse. Okay. I mean, you're meant to provide, and right. you have to find a way of doing so. So I see. let's appreciate our dads. Mm. Let's probably also instill into our, our especially our sons, okay. a certain sense of responsibility and basically some values and mm. principles so that they also grow up to become responsible Grateful. fathers and then even citizens <laughs> of the country. So in the top up for me, uh, what are your thoughts about this subject? Well, let me also start with the courtesies. Good morning mm -hmm. to you. Good morning to uh, my very good friend, Eric. And good morning to our viewers, especially the very good people of the Tamil of constituency mm -hmm. and fathers around the world and in Ghana especially. Uh, a happy Father's Day in advance to everyone. Uh, I pray that we will all have a happy day that day mm -hmm. and we will not be required to give presents <laughs> even on a day that we you, are supposed you are, to be You are emphasizing that. Point. Yes, I have to because uh, I, I have seen this uh, being bandied around sometimes as a joke, but I've actually been asked before uh, of a new year, uh, what do you call it? Um, Father's Day. Uh, no, uh, Republic Day. Republic Day gift. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but I, I think that um, some people say that um, great men, great people necessarily don't need celebration. Mm -hmm. um, they just have to be great, you know, and I believe fathers are great. Mm -hmm. I had uh, an amazing father. Um, he's late and I agree with Eric. There were times that you thought he was a bit aloof, but growing up, you understand that you know um, <laughs> he had to, he was dealing with a lot of things, yeah. you know, just to make sure that he gives you uh, some heads up, you know, in life. And um, I am doing everything that I can so that I can also be the best dad mm. that I can to my you know uh, children and i'm sure that is what almost every father uh, uh, wishes mm -hmm. to do uh, i don't think that if we are not celebrated enough mm -hmm. that is answering your question mm. uh, it sh it's it's it should be of concern i i i don't think we have anybody to blame but ourselves mm. generally men are not into events and celebrations and parties that much you know compared to, to the to the opposite sex i mean we live in a man's world so trust me if we saw this celebration mm -hmm. as you know something that we we wanted to champion mm -hmm. uh, i'm sure that uh, it would have we would have flooded every space mm -hmm. with 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 the celebration of fathers but it's because generally we are not uh, the kind of species who really uh, uh, pay attention that much to dates and events and celebrations and parties that much. You tend to uh, have that feel that we are not celebrated enough. But really, uh, when it is Mother's Day, the noise is because women love events. They love, you know, those uh, dates. They, they, they love you know, they love to take note. Or well, because there's a genuine reason to celebrate them. Somebody there is, there is no doubt about that. I mean, there, there, there are genuine reasons to celebrate mothers. There are genuine reasons to celebrate fathers. Mm. But I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm simply saying, for, uh, for the love of of events, events. And I mean, and you, 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 you live with your wife, mm. and or uh, for those who are not married, mm. and sometimes. The dates that they can remember fascinate you. Yeah. Maybe the first day first you even day you, met, you, know, met. you took her number, yeah. and they can still remember all of these things. And they are actually events for yeah. them, you know. Yeah. And they market. They are big, you know. Them. Yeah. So, 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 so. But for 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 for, for guys, we, we, don't we don't really we don't pay care. attention. So it's not because the women are not celebrating us enough. It is just because 
we haven't made it okay. a priority in our lives. And that right. is why it seems as if we are not that much celebrated. But I think that um, fathers, uh, uh, especially in Ghana, mm. uh, are changing the fatherhood is changing in Ghana, and I think I mean you go out these days, you go to the uh, you know entertainment centers, you go to uh, the children play parts, and you find fathers doing things that our fathers never would have done at all in our days, and I'm and I'm and I'm, I'm I, I think it is all good. I okay, think it is thank all. you very much. Let's turn our attention now to page 16 of the Ghanaian Times. The president, uh, Akufuado, yesterday was in uh, the House of Assembly in St. Vincent and Grenadines. He said that uh, Ghana is the safest country in West Africa and is calling on Africans in the diaspora to come explore and experience Ghana in this year of return, 400 years since the first set of slaves were moved from here to Jamestown, Virginia. Eric, is Ghana really safe? Uh, and I'm asking this question carefully because people have complained that they don't feel safe. Is Ghana really safe, as the president says? Thank you very much. Um, I believe that um, Ghana is safe. Uh, I support the president's uh, position. And you can go back to even a certain statistical analysis of um, these things and come to the conclusion that, well, indeed, Ghana is safe. Uh, we live in a, a global village. I mean, it's, it's, it's um, a given that uh, the world itself has become a bit more, has, is facing different security uh, threats. I mean, issues to do with terrorism and all sorts of things that have become uh, the bane of the world in the last maybe decade or so. It's something that has has come. It's, 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 it's with us. Now, for us as a country, and even for, for some of us who get an opportunity like this, on platform like this, we need to be able to uh, detach the politics from the reality, mm -hmm. and so if you are looking, people are playing yeah, yeah, politics it's because I mean, yeah, it's like it's, like, it's expedient. You see, um, I've always maintained that the response it's the responsibility of any government, mm -hmm. and I think our constitution is even very clear on that, to make sure that the sanctity of the state mm -hmm. is kept intact, mm -hmm. the security of the people is basically sacrosanct. It's important. It's the most basic uh, principle that every government should be, be behold. Mm. So if one individual rather either gets themselves into some kind of uh, disturbance or mm. uh, gets injured or hurt or maimed or killed, it's unfortunate, mm. uh, especially in the events that those things can be uh, prevented. It's unfortunate, it has to be looked at, and when it does happen, we need to find ways of making sure that um, those things do not happen, or we have a system in place to uh, forestall that in the future. Mm. But we can now bring into perspective of what's happening even in our sub-region, in the continent itself, and the world over. And you realize that if you take a cursory look without even drilling down to the, to the numbers, Ghana is in a very safe place. Did safe they have place. to take the precedent no, to no, say no, but it's, it's that, because that we are safe? Because we have. If had, you feel safe, Eric, you will know. No, uh, no but I, I don't need to tell you I, that you're, you're I, safe. I, you see, I so that we don't. It's not taken in a wrong way. Okay. You understand? I got um, a call to do an interview on a UK uh, TV station, which okay. is like a Ghanaian owned mm. TV station, and they were talking about the fact that there's a recent spate of insecurity mm -hmm. and robbery mm -hmm. and all of those things. And I said to them, well, I have lived in England, and I know for a fact that <coughs> Ghana, Accra, any city in this country, it's safer than any in L London. And I know that, mm -hmm. that in the time that I was talking to them, in that one month alone, 40, 55 young kids, teenagers, have been stabbed on the streets of London to death. You understand what I'm saying? So 
without being uh, insensitive about something that has happened locally where people are saying that, well, uh, maybe the police or the security apparatus should be able to either prevent or even when the issues happen, mm -hmm. we should be able to deal with it. It's a, it's a bigger conversation in terms of what is actually happening elsewhere. Okay. Issues to do with terrorism, mm -hmm. issues to do with uh, kidnapping, issues to do with uh, piracy and all of those. These are things that is happening everywhere. Mm -hmm. I believe strongly that sometimes we sort of focus too much on the negatives. Listen, in the last few incidents When the negatives of, yeah, destroy yeah, the positives. Yes, yes. In the last, what, what do you do? Yeah, so, so in the last few... Um, uh, weeks or so where issues to do is some kidnappings have happened. Mm -hmm. And if you look at it, I mean, carefully, mm -hmm. the security uh, uh, operators in this country <coughs> have been able to actually get to the bottom of the matter and dealt with the issues. There was an incident of an Indian uh, businessman in Kumasi mm -hmm. somewhere. There was another incident, this recent Canadian one. The, the Unfo unfortunately, yes, I know that. I mean, Unfortunately, we have not been able to uh, find where they, uh, to bring back the Takwa de Gelt and all of those things. But I know for a fact that the security uh, agencies are working in earnest to make sure that that is also okay. brought to the fore. So I feel that whilst we can have conversation on specific incidents that happen uh, locally, on the whole, the the impression that we create to the outside world is also important because okay. we're all meant to be the key advocates mm -hmm. of this country. We should be proponents of uh, bringing people into this country. There's issues to do with that. people not just communicating what they feel? No, but that is, that or is fine. how they feel? No, no, but that is, that is fine. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that when you can put preventive measures in place, that is a responsibility of government. Okay. The police people will tell you that even when it comes to security, mm -hmm. it's a collaborative thing where the citizenry mm -hmm. and the police or other agencies are okay. meant to come together to make sure that happens. Okay. But when you look at it from even where we sit, where there's a certain statistical uh, there's a this certain statistical basis for the indication that maybe this particular crime has... I saw, I think it's a city... Uh, FM report on uh, the incidents of uh, kidnappings from 2014 to 2018 also, right? And what has been able to be done in terms of rescuing these people and all of those things. So these are things that, of course, we need to put in measures to make sure that it's okay. installed. Uh, the issues to do with CCTV, mm -hmm. for instance, is something that is... Uh, it's paramount okay. for government to be able to... The vice president speak. promised that we will have it. <coughs> yeah, after, but after, the, after the murder of Chief Inspector yeah. Ashley Levy at uh, Kwabinga, yeah. we, are not, as, as, we have not seen that. No, it's been but, more than a year. The CCTV is there. There are some CCTV... The, the vice office. president was specifically said, we are going to have CCTV cameras in every police station. Those yeah. were his words. Yeah. After That's, Chief Inspector yeah. Ashley Levy was murdered at Kwabinga. <coughs> I remember no, that very Johnny, well. Johnny, Johnny, I think that I'm saying that no, as, no, I'm, as we speak. I'm telling you what I, what yes, I, what yeah, I remember. Yes, but I'm not, I'm not responding to what the vice president... I'm saying that as we speak today. Mm. The vice president are, doesn't carry weight? No, you're not, you're not listening to it. I'm saying that as we speak today, mm. some CCTV installations have been done in, at some strategic points. The fact that you haven't seen mm. it or it's not visible for everybody I, I am to not, see. I am not saying not say that, that I haven't seen it. Yes, no, but I'm, that doesn't mean that they do not exist. I'm, I'm, and I'm I, that's why my call Eric, is, I'm my, saying to yes. you that mm -hmm. CCTV cameras in Accra, mm -hmm. you can see them. Mm -hmm. You can see some. Yes. If you go to the Nima Junction, you yeah. can see Flagstaff House Junction, you can mm -hmm. see. You can go to some of the runabouts. Yeah. You can see them. Uh -huh. And I'm saying that in the event where Chief Inspector Shilevi no, but you are being on. You're I'm being, not. Being on you're being unfair. Being on oh, how am I being unfair? Uh, yeah, but so I'm saying you're that making a specific a case man, for a the police man station. on duty yes. was murdered while he was in the line of duty. I agree. Then the matter came up, following yeah. which the vice president said, yes. "We're going to have the streets yeah. and the police stations fixed." with CCTV cameras. Okay. And I'm saying that it's been more than a year. I have not seen it. I was at okay. the East Legon Police Station this week. Uh -huh. I didn't see a CCTV yeah, camera. Yeah, but, but when you do that, so you're, you're nitpicking. And we are talking about... It's a genuine question, no, isn't it? I, I, don't, I don't begrudge you for asking a question. What I'm saying is that, as we speak, since this government came into being, some 
CCTV installations have been done. Okay. True or false? It has. Now, if it happens that the ones that are meant to be at the various police, I do not have visibility on how many police stations, mm. we, as we speak, would have CCTV. But that's something that I encourage that if it's having been done everywhere, it should be done. Okay. It adds to, up to the thing. Great. We Thank also you. expect that. Let, let's really have We a also expect that the people. citizenry would also support the security agencies Thank you. with information. Thank you. So, Sohini, need we, the president, tell we that mm -hmm. we are a safe people? and that uh, investors should come. And I'm asking this because all the missions in this country have their own security set up who will do their background checks and everything. It's not about what you tell them, but it is about what they deem fit. That's one part of my question. The second part of the question is what your assessment will be of our security situation, and whether the president said what it is or not. The president was speaking abroad, right? Right. You know, Johnny, sometimes I wish our president would do the things expected of him as much as he says the things expected of him. How do you mean? Or as well as he says the things expected of him. How do you mean? You know, when the president is given a script, mm. he says all the things that are expected of him mm. to say as president. But when you test what he says mm. against what he is expected to do, mm. then he's found wanting. And it is as a result, I think, of the level of cluelessness that he displays. That's why I'm saying I wish that he will do the things expected of him mm. as well as he says the things expected of him. Mm. We are Ghanaians. He's a Ghanaian. He is the president. So it is reasonable mm -hmm. that you will want to put your country in good light, mm. even if it is really not in that light. Patriotism <laughs> requires that you do so. So I didn't expect the president to say anything either than what he said Mm. on that international platform about the country that he is leading. Because mm. patriotism requires that you put your country in the best light possible. So he had no option. So he was saying what he has to say. But I'm saying that beyond saying what he has to say, mm. I wish that he could actually be doing what he has to do. Because if he did what he has to do mm. as leader of this country, we will not even have this conversation. Are you suggesting, because, that, you see, are you suggesting that the says, president has not acted I mean, uh, in our best interest in terms of security? I'm saying mm. that if he did what he had to do. What does he need to do which he's not doing? Tell me. Simply do what he promised in his manifesto, the NPP manifesto. He should mm. just do what he promised mm. in that manifesto, where he assured that the people of Ghana mm. will be given top-notch security mm. with an assurance to sleep <laughs> in their homes and to do their business on the streets without any fear whatsoever of mm. insecurity it is in the end subs of that of that promise where that we're going to have recruitment and recruitments have been going on no, 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 uh, no. the police have recently been no, 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 no. retooled don't reduce it. Don't reduce uh, it. they have cars they have ammunition yeah, you know so <laughs> what 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 are you what are you pointing us to don't don't <laughs> reduce don't reduce security to to, to, to those tokenisms. Let's be real. Security goes far beyond just these things that we talk of. Mm. Besides, I mean, <laughs> how, what is the nature of recruitment? For a long time, we have discussed the process <sighs> of recruitment mm. and how even that sometimes it's a national security threat. Because who are the people really that you are recruiting? We have discussed that. So I don't want us to get into okay. that. But the point really mm -hmm. is that in all of this, because the president has failed to do what he is expected to do, mm. I'm sure that these foreign dignitaries that he was talking to were laughing at his cluelessness because they may have already mm. gotten briefs from their embassies in this country mm. 
about the security situation in Ghana. And that is why some of these embassies have actually issued travel you know, alerts mm. to their citizens. I am not happy as a Ghanaian that we are in that state. But I am more ashamed that my president only can say what he has to say, but is unable to do what he has to do and has to, you know, uh, put us through this discussion. Do you feel Because safe? you see, if, if his words matched his actions, mm. we would have said, yes, we are the safest place. So, but so, you can just go online, John. So, so, somebody, somebody would say, look, you, you slept in your house peacefully. You drove here without an attack. You are here. When we finish, you go and do your business. And, and so you are safe. Why are you complaining, Suhini? I'm not complaining. Mm. I am not. You are not. I'm not complaining. Why are you saying that the I'm president, at least, then you have the free movement. So the president is doing what he's, he promised to do. Regardless of how I got here and how I slept at home, the embassies in Ghana mm. are warning their citizens. Mm. If you pick the newspapers today, if you listen to radio <coughs> and television, mm. even in our various communities, okay. people feel unsafe. I've been on this set before. I mm. think it was with Eric again. When I talked about the cautions mm. that people now get from their relatives mm. when they are out, out there, he tried to poo-poo it. But you see, you can even check online because I want us to zero in on what the president said. Okay. There are a number of you know, travel writers mm. who have articles <laughs> about the safest destinations mm. in Africa. I have checked about three or four different writers. Heathrow Richardson is one of the best. Right. None of them have Ghana among the list of eight, seven, or ten countries. But, but recently, that they the, the CNN put us number four at number four. I am saying that I'm, I've talked about, but I've talked about other. Okay. You know, the four that the you four, more okay. than four, mm. and Ghana is not part of the. You know, they have seven, eight, nine, ten. You can decide to put that against the CNN and okay. also against the reality that you live and decide which one you want to place value on. What do we stand to but, lose from, from but, this but situation? You see, yeah. But you see, mm. the insecurity situation has gotten out of hand because of, again, the way our friends in the NPP have been treating concerns mm. about insecurity. They they, they downplay it, they dismiss it, mm. they make it seem normal, and then worst of all, they accuse the NDC of trying to create panic. What do we stand to lose if our security and because is not, is consistently, not the best? And because consistently mm. they have done that, they have not really woken up to the reality of the threat that mm. we face. And so things have been getting out of hand, mm. and for the first time, we are beginning to even witness crimes that many Ghanaians consider alien to Ghanaians. And, you know, the kind of insecurity that we have had to deal with as a people for some time now. So I am saying yeah. that, yes, the president has said mm. what he was expected to say out there. Mm. It is not too late for him to come home and do what he has to do. Make sure mm. that the promise of providing Ghanaians with the security to go about their business safely and to live in their homes without fear mm. is, you know, provided. Is that too much to ask? Are we in a helpless situation? I think so sometimes. I think so, especially when you have a, a, what seems to be a deliberate mm. politicization of the security agencies in this country. Which, which I am very confident has made a lot of professionals in the security service uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Because you have some people who, by virtue of some appointments mm -hmm. that they have been given mm -hmm. by this government, mm -hmm. seem to think that their role is to make people in government and people who belong to the NPP happy. Mm. And so by the conduct that they engage in, confidence level 
in the agencies is at its lowest ebb today. And that is why I am worried, mm. and that is why sometimes I think we are in a hopeless situation, mm. but I will say again that it is not too late. Do you see light we at need, the end of the tunnel? We need a safe and secure country. Do you see light at the end of the tunnel? So far, no. But why, again, why I will not? say it is but not too really, late. I think that, um, no, no, no I, allow me. Eric, Eric, no, no. Eric, I mean, Eric, is he, is Eric allow, he, allow me to do my work. No, I allowed you, yeah, I allowed you to have your... I sat here allow me to this. ask my questions. Right. Why is it I hope you would you. give me an opportunity to do right. that. You know, I don't see any light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. You no, know, Jenny, tell me what, what really, what really are we, are we saying? It's, 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 it's okay, you know, in the last um, um, couple of days mm. in relation to the, um, uh, what do you call it? Rescue of the Canadian The rescue girl. of the Canadian girls. Mm. It's, it's commendable, especially if what we have heard the minister, uh, Brian Achampong, mm. say uh, is really what happened. Okay. That in itself is commendable. Mm. But the question is, how did we even get here? What were the agencies mm. doing? Mm. That this was not the first kidnapping. Okay. We haven't had intelligence on this nature of crime. Mm. We are unable to even trace some of the kidnappers who have been kidnapped for over, over six months mm. today. Mm. I mean, an isolated incident involving the rescue of the Canadians, mm. as commendable th as that is, does not take away the fact that mm. there is general insecurity mm. okay. in relation to, you know, the tardy girls mm. and all these other things. Thank you. And I'm saying it has gotten this bad mm. because in the beginning, mm. And somehow, some of them are still doing it. Okay. When you raise the issue of insecurity, mm. it was either dismissed, it was made to seem normal, mm. disregarded, mm. or simply blamed on the NDC okay. as the people who wanted to create panic. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Eric, so Suhili so says the president is good at the script, is good at uh, saying stuff, but he is doing nothing about the stuff he says. I actually feel extremely scandalized this morning. Why so? Uh, Suhini, Honorable Suhini, mm. is a member of parliament of this country. Mm. Now, so for political expediency's sake, mm. uh, he decides to take a certain route. And like classic NDC, he moved away from even the subject of what we are discussing did, to did go he? into really areas that he shouldn't have gone to. Did he? Does he? You see, I feel that once we have this conversation, mm -hmm. we have to be very careful. Now, everywhere in the world, mm -hmm. the most advanced uh, countries in the world, mm -hmm. issues to do with crime happens. When you say we no, have to be careful, I need to understand you. When you say no, we have no, to be we, careful, we, we have to be careful. I, I'm, I'm it, asking that yeah, because yes. the Minister for Information, yes. a former colleague of yeah, ours, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he says that we should be circumspect, including commentators on what we say. Exactly. But if, because you, if you know him yeah. when he was on radio, yeah. he would have asked even deeper questions. No, no, but than, I don't... I don't see, listen, listen. That's that, one Johnny, part of the Johnny, conversation. Johnny, I think but, that but sometimes... Eric, I'm asking that, you a question. No, but you're, when, asking when you two, say, you're asking me two questions. When you say... No, I'm just giving you a answer, preamble. Yes, I'm saying listen. that... It is what, not about, what do you mean when I mean, you say what I mean, what we I'm, should be what careful? I mean, what, what, I mean, what, what I mean is that I think that in my earlier submission, I say that, listen, it's the responsibility of every government to make sure that its people are safe. So what and do you mean when you say we should be careful? However, however, to create a certain impression, name one country within the West Africa sub-region that is safer than Ghana. Name. In terms of issues to do with crime, terrorism, murder, and all of those things. You understand? So for, for me, it's important that whilst we deal with the issues, with, so we, we, we deal, no, I'm not saying it's normal. it's normal. Once we deal with the issues where crime does happen, you find ways to safeguard the people, you find ways to prevent them, you put in measures that would forestall some of these so, things. So you're saying but that we shouldn't not, talk about No, it. you can talk about it, but if you talk way, about but, when you talk about it in the context that Suhini has just done, mm. when the same people, when their national chairman has been invited by the police because 
some people have mentioned his name allegedly mm. to be involved in certain things. That same principle should apply so that you allow the agencies mm. to work. What do they do? They actually got their uh, uh, national executive, mm. their, their neck, to go out there and issue a statement that he should not even, what, uh, uh, collaborate with the police to get to the bottom of the matter. And he sits here and says that, well, uh, if anything happens, I mean, it's as if that if somebody's going out there to and commit... That's the cost of to our commit, insecurity. No, to commit... What is the insecurity? I'm saying that issues do would always happen. Mm. When they do happen, you always have a preventive and then also a way of dealing with the issues mm. when it does happen. And I'm saying that it's unfortunate that any citizen of this country mm. will find themselves in a certain disquiet. Mm. But it's also true that... Ghana, this country, mm. is the safest place in West Africa and in the sub-region and some of, one of the safest places in Africa. What, what you're saying, so what you're saying is when that, the president is goes on say, a platform... What, what you're saying let, 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 is, is a keen, Eric, no, to, it's not a keen to, to have, that. A, to that have is your view. 40, 40 which, students in a classroom which you are, and because you came 39 and your, it is not, your father's it is, it is asked not, you, that you is, say, oh, very, I did better than Queen. That's a very, so, that's a very banal analogy. It is not. If the people are feeling insecure, mustn't they say it? No, but the thing is that the President, you see, unless, of course, you want us to discuss something else. You said that the president was on an international platform saying that, mm. inviting people to the uh, to come to the homecoming mm, mm, mm. thing in, 20, in mm. 29. And it's, he's still reassuring them that there has been some incidents that has given a certain impression that mm. Ghana is not a safe place. But even that, mm. Ghana is the safest place in a sub region. How do we marry, Ghana, how do we no, marry so the two, the, you, you marry with, the with, two the, with the security you, 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 you uh, arrangements that are being uh, trumpeted to those citizens no, of those but, countries? But you see, you marry the two by looking at what this government has done. This government has, as I so, said to you, I don't have the exact numbers here, mm. but the CCTVs are there. Even in the recent incident that happened in, in the police Kumasi, stations. No, but you see, then it means that you're, 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 you're shifting the goalposts. Okay. They are there. Again, so I can't, I can't ask government, about the promise no, that can't, was made. You can, you can. I don't have a challenge with okay. that. Government has provided 400 and over vehicles to the police to deal with some of these that things, which to read to. Mm. Some machinery, some inputs, mm. and all mm. of those things. So these are things that are being done. Okay, so let's, let's bring in Aisha does, now. Uh, when, when it does happen, mm. we expect that, one, our intel is up to scratch okay. in terms of up mm. to the, mm. the standards that we would be able to foresaw some of these things. Okay. But it's also a given that you cannot prevent all of these things. Because no criminal will go and tell the security operatives that I'm mm. going to kidnap somebody. Mm. But when it does happen, and you have a situation where we're able to put in measures mm. to bring the perpetrators Pre Prevention to... is better than kill. Yeah, but you that? cannot prevent everything. Okay, let's not keep a beautiful lady you know, uh, waiting. I, I hope I also have a... <laughs> yes. Uh, I, 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 should, I should walk him back. It's, it's almost akin that Thank they say you, that Johnny. every crime that happened <laughs> under the airwatch of the end was a responsibility of the government. Okay, and that let's, okay let's hear so let's quickly, yes, yeah, let's quickly go through some of the comments that we have here so that you have time to continue the discussion. This one says... Father's Day should uh, be celebrated exactly as the way Mother's Day is celebrated because now it's not about mothers or fathers, but it's about equal responsibility. This is Jean Drew from Nsawam. Good morning, Johnny. Fathers have not done enough to get that euphoria compared to mothers. There should be a wake-up call to all fathers to be responsible in order to make their day also a wonderful one. Billy Graham sent that one from UCC. Uh, Johnny, Father's Day, uh, uh, Father's Day, Father's Day, who is a father? Jebo Lyon is asking that question. Uh, the man who wants to commit suicide is a lazy man, and they are the very persons ruining and milking this country on its knees. This man should be arrested and sentenced to life imprisonment with hard labor to serve us, a deterrent to others, because I know there are many more out there seeking for this shortcut means of becoming wealthy, uh, of becoming wealthier, uh, but they should be warned, not under this, uh, the tutelage of His Excellency Nanadu Dankwa Ekufuado. Uh, 
He says to Fiakwa. It's coming from Osman from Pusiga. Uh, how can Ghana be safe under Kofuado's government when three tardy girls are kidnapped? Canadian forces came and rescued their own, and this incompetent government is trying to take credit for no work done. Osman sends that one from Tamale. Good morning, TV3. In fact, security in Ghana today is not the best. Let's be honest. Uh, the president should swallow his pride and accept the current happenings in terms of security in the country. Derek sends that one from South Tong. Uh, good morning, TV3. Father's Day is to be celebrated. It is because fathers are mostly the breadwinners of the family. Now, Masaudu in Bantama said this government will not sit down for any unscrupulous and lawless people to, so, uh, to soil its governance. Perpetrators of all forms of unlawful acts of kidnapping will be smoked out and be made to face the consequences of the law with regards to uh, Honorable Nana Sama Boating, DCE for Jacobo. Uh, this one says Ghana is not the safest country in West Africa. Really, it is not. Ghana used to be the safest country, but now the world knows Ghana's status under uh, the regime of President Tekufado. So, Mr. President, give us a break. We all know that the country's security is very bad. Abladi sent that one from Ifeo Kuma in Takrade. Uh, if Ghana was indeed safe, we won't need to say it to the world. People living in Ghana are not feeling safe. The international community sees it too, and the president is trying to rubbish the claims to make it look safe. Let's be proactive. Good morning, Johnny. This is Benson from Medina. Good morning, Johnny. The president's words doesn't prove the truth about what is happening in the country concerning security situation, uh, the situation that we have now. Benson sends that one from Aoshi. Good morning, Johnny and your panelists. Tell Eric to admit rather than defending, Ghana is not safe. One bit under Nanado's government. God save Ama Ghana. Matthias from Wa. Um, and Emilia says, if you have a president who only talks and shows off without putting any effort to better the lives and living standard of his people, the end result, the citizens turn all their anger on the MPs and try to kill themselves. Johnny, I love your outfit. In fact, today you brought in respected gentlemen to discuss, you know, the issues that we have. That's some, someone that sent this message without their name. So, Johnny. Okay, those thank are you very much. It says they are not disturbing their ears. And I, I thank you, gentlemen. Okay, thank so far, so good. Uh, yes, uh, so, 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 so we, we have two minutes to go. Let's, wow. let's, let's share you it. You see, my. One, one minute, one minute. My, let's share no, it. No, no, that's no, no, not fair. That would be fair. He had the okay, second okay, bite. So, so I am now having my second bite. Eric, allow him to. That would be fair. So we will share it. No, I don't think you would be fair if you share that time with him. But. He speaks about, and he you also, also brother, and you, you also, and you also you. made reference to retooling. I mean, it's on record that the end, the previous NDC government also did retooling. No, if you talk about retooling our security agencies, I don't think that you can match the tokenism that is happening now with the massive retooling that the previous NDC government undertook. As far as equipping our security agencies to perform is concerned. In fact, we even doubled their salaries through the single spines, you know, uh, salary in some cases. Apart from the fire service, you name them, the, 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 the army, the navy, and all the things that happened. Mm. But you see, it did not stop our friends in opposition to promise better. So please, 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 please. Yeah, it did not That's stop them. <laughs> no, no, please. It did not stop them from promising better. Oh, okay. Do you understand? Yeah. They promised that regardless of all that we're doing, so there were still snippets, what, what there were still snippets of insecurity in the country, mm -hmm. which they held the government responsible no, and no, promised no, to do yeah. better. Okay. It's, it's important that we are on it. It's important that we are on it. Please, please, Eric, Eric. You see, they just commended us, so don't do this. The people know you are uncomfortable with what we are, I'm saying. That's why you are trying to, to, to sidetrack me. But I will stay focused. You know, then when I spoke earlier, I talked about how the situation is getting there because our friends in the NPP and in government don't seem to realize what the ordinary Ghanaians are going through. So when you raise the issue of insecurity, mm. they downplay it. And when you heard Eric, when he came back the second time, what did you feel? How did you feel? No, Telling us that 
it is normal. Okay. I mean, Af in, in no, Africa, no, where, no. where can't you find crime? Thank you. And no. then he goes on. And I also no, said that no, the worst part of let, it, let have Johnny, a, uh, the yeah. worst, please, I don't think, I, the worst part of it mm. is that they blame the NDC for crime uh, insecurity. Mm. Then he goes to Ampofo. Mm. Do you hear him? Mm. He says the NDC. But you see, what is marveling, I mean, what is ridiculous for me is that they do that or they did that to Ampofo and the NDC. And then when the kidnappers are arrested, mm. and then all of a sudden we find out that some of them are members of an illegal okay. group affiliated okay. to them. Okay. Then you. they start let, saying let, that, let's, no, let's, let's not politicize let's not security. No, no, no. Okay. It's Thank you very much. ridiculous, okay. Eric, the, the uh, way uh, they uh, think. Really, it's Thank you it's very ridiculous. Much. My I mean, studio director about, will beat me. It's about, it is about being ridiculous. I mean, the opposition is mm. extremely ridiculous. I'm not talking to you personally, but it's ridiculous to start with. As a country, the fundamental thing is for us to be Johnny, one projecting, to projecting, projecting the image of this country. You had the first and also, the issues the to do with security my, is, so paramount, yeah, is, paramount, is, paramount, is paramount to this government. That's why <laughs> measures have been put in place. This is Operation Calm Life and all of this. Okay. I've supported the security Great. agencies to make sure that we are safe. Thank you. However, when the issues do does happen. Mm. Government has what it takes, the security agencies have what it takes to bring the matter to a certain conclusion so that we deal with the Ghanaians okay. who feel safe. Thank you. And that for me mm. buttresses the fact of what the president said that even regardless of all the issues that are surrounding us around mm. the sub-region and the continent and even the world mm. over, Ghana it's a safe place. Thank you very for much. Eric Chu to come is and visit a member of the at, MPP's I'm communication sure audience team. Were laughing. And uh, Honorable Alassan yeah, Suhini is the yeah. member of parliament for the uh, Tamale North constituency. Those, Gentlemen, those thank you very much for coming.